Hey guys, Nina Soul with Spiritual Vibes. Um, coming to you guys from my showroom that I'm still working on, but I'm little by little I'm getting there. So, um, anyway, I am coming to you guys today to do this video because uh, I had a couple of, of my customers ask me how how they would cleanse their crystals, um, how to cleanse them, how to charge them, and how to program them. And some people don't know that you do have to program your crystals. So I decided to just do this video that way. Um, that way I could get like all the information. <clears throat> I'm sorry, all the information out there, and you know, you guys will have this video to to you know to watch and to kind of like just to share knowledge, just to share what I know because there are a lot of different ways of cleansing. There's different ways of charging. Um, charging your crystals and things like that this is just the way I do it so I'm just gonna talk about a few ways that you can cleanse your crystals um, okay so for this video I'm gonna be using this carnelian right here just as an example of um, you know how to cleanse charge and program so okay so if I was gonna use this carnelian I was gonna use this carnelian before Okay, so when I go to the, you know, when I go and buy this, this crystal and I take it home with me, um, th what this crystal actually does is it picks up energies for wherever, from wherever it was that it has been. So um, if it was in a shop, like for instance here in my showroom, um, there's, you know, people that come and they're looking at the crystals and touching them and picking them up. And they don't know that the crystal is actually absorbing the energy that they they have within them. So if they have, um, you know, if they have like negative energy, and you know, or they're having a bad day, and they see this crystal and they pick it up and they're just touching it and admiring it, they don't know that the crystal is actually taking that energy that they have from within them and absorbing it because that's what crystals do crystals absorb negative energy and they convert it into positive energy but the thing is that with some crystals after they absorb so much negative energy instead of releasing positive energy they'll start to kind of pour out whatever negative energy they have within them so before using a crystal for your own um, for your own healing your own healing or or whatever it is that you're gonna you're planning on using them for before you you use them you want to cleanse them and that is very very important it's like one of the most important things is to cleanse your crystals um, when you would want to cleanse your crystals is uh, after every time that you use your crystal like say you're using your crystal to do healing on somebody else um, after after you you're done doing your healing on somebody you want to cleanse the crystal right after that because you don't want it holding on to that negative um, negative energy that that person gave off to the crystal that the crystal absorbed um, you don't want it to you know like you don't want to pass it around and be transferring negative energy you want to cleanse it so that it, it still it gives off that positive energy um, so one of the ways that one of the ways that I like to do is I like to use selenite crystal. Selenite, I'll be doing another video about selenite, but selenite crystal is one of the safest ways to actually cleanse and charge your crystals. And it does cleansing and charging. So um, you're not only you're doing two, okay, you're doing two things at one time. So it's saving you a lot of time because all you have to do is put this crystal on top of this crystal and what the selenite is going to do is it's going to take all of the negative energy that this crystal has in it it's going to absorb that and selenite does not release negative energy it's a permanent filter that can keep absorbing and converting absorbing and converting and never gets full um, so okay so what it will do is it'll take all the negative energy from this crystal it'll absorb it and then it'll charge this crystal so um, when I'm doing the selenite um, the you know selenite way of cleansing and charging I like to leave it for like 24 hours with um, you know charging with the selenite and being cleansed with the selenite I leave it like that for 24 hours that is the safest method because some crystals you can't you can't get wet like um, pyrite pyrite is a sulfur based stone um, hold on I'll show you a chunk of pyrite sorry Okay, so right here I got like a little tiny little piece of pyrite. 
if you put this guy in water, what it's gonna do is it's gonna crumble. Um, Cause pyrite cannot get wet. I'm, I'm gonna turn this music down real quick, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry you guys. It was like becoming too much, I couldn't even hear myself think, I was like shit. Okay, <laughs> so alright, so the pyrite, like I said, you can't put it in water. Selenite is the safest way of cleansing and charging it. So there's, um yeah, like the selenite way. Alright, so that's one way. Oh, and like I said, I'm going to be doing another video about selenite because selenite is, it's, a, it's such a common stone, but the properties is like amazing. Selenite is one of my favorite crystals. Um, it's not like, it's not one that everyone's looking for because it's so easy to come by, but the properties of it is just amazing. The energies is, yeah, like the energy from selenite, I love it. So um, I use selenite for that. Um, another way is you could use sage. So, um, okay. You would light the sage. You want to do this over a bowl because, um, right now, like, the little thread that's wrapped around the sage is kind of falling. No, Louis. No. Sorry, I got my, my boys are in here. They wanted to be in here with me, so... I got my boys in here with me. My boys and my dogs, just to let you know. <laughs> I've got no kids on the floor or anything. Okay, so you would light your sage. You All this smoke, you would run the crystal over the smoke. And with this, with this method, you actually have to picture this smoke um, clearing all the negative energy. So you want to put your intention into this as you're cleaning it if, if that means that you have to like speak your intention out loud you can do that like don't think that you're strange or anything like that because i i do it sometimes too i'm like you know i'm i'm cleansing you of all negative energy and you know you can keep repeating it you can you don't even have to say anything if you don't want to just put your intention have it in your your mind your thought um the mind and your thoughts are very powerful too, so um, just uh, picture it as cleansing and removing any negative energy that, um, that it may have, that it may have held on to, just removing all the negative energy. Once you feel that this crystal is cleansed, once you feel that it's cleansed and it's, um, it's done with the sage, then you can, you can, stop, with, uh, you can stop cleansing it. Um, if you don't like if you don't like the smell of sage, you can use Palo Santo. Palo Santo is the same thing. Um, or not the same thing, but it, it like you would use it in the same way. You would just, uh, you know, light your match. Okay. Light your match, light your Palo Santo. Um, Palo Santo is, burns really slow. And um, the other nice thing about it is that it doesn't let off a whole lot of smoke, but it's still extremely powerful. So um, with the Palo Santo, you see how it's lit? And it doesn't give off a thick smoke, it's a real light smoke and it'll actually, it'll actually die itself out faster than what sage will because sage will kind of burn sage will burn for a while up until it gets to that like the string that's wrapped around it and then it'll die itself out palo santo will only burn for a little bit and it'll die itself out um so you would do it the same way run your crystal over the smoke speak out your intention or keep it in your head um i'm cleansing you of all negative energy that you may be carrying um and and just uh yeah just do it the same way as i did with the sage run it over there like run it over the crystal uh run the crystal over the smoke until you feel that it's cleansed okay and then um and uh some people some people recommend doing salt water like putting your crystals in salt water i don't recommend anything that's going to get them wet unless you really know that they are safe like quartz are safe to get wet i have quartz in my fountain here um, if you hear like my fountain going, I got quartz all in there. So quartz is safe to get wet, but the thing is that if you want to use the water, the water method, the salt water method, 
make sure do your research and make sure that your crystals can get wet and that the salt is not going to damage them because some some crystals have like they contain iron they contain different things that you could actually damage your crystal more and and you could damage it wanting to do something good you're actually going to do something bad to it so um do your research or just to be on the safe side do a dry method like it's so easy you know like the selenite is so easy and it's not expensive um the palo santo the sage you know it's so easy just to to burn and let the smoke just cleanse it it's safer and it's you know it's safer and you know you're not gonna mess your stone up and yeah so that's okay that's a uh, cleansing all right so charging charging um like i said you could use selenite you could use selenite to cleanse and charge. Um, what a lot of people do and what I've done too is um, I, I like to put my crystals in the windowsill when it's a full moon out. And um, so, uh, some people have asked me too, uh, will your crystal still charge if it's a full moon? If you know it's a full moon outside but it's cloudy and you can't see the moon or it's raining or whatever the case may be but you don't see the moon, the energy is still out there. So the crystal is still going to charge um, as long as it's in the windowsill and uh, it's able to like, you know, like kind of see out into the night, it's fine. It's still going to get the energies, um, the energies from the full moon. Just because you don't see it, the energy is still out there. The energy is going to be everywhere. So um, keeping it in the windowsill is, uh, keeping it in the windowsill, hey, I'm sorry, hold on. Give me that. Give me that. All right. Louis. All right. <laughs> so keeping it in the windowsill to charge, um, you know, for a full moon, that's another really good way to charge it. Some people will actually charge their crystals, cleanse and charge their crystals if you... Um, like if you do Reiki or if you're if you know how to um, you know like really meditate on on cleansing and meditate on charging things you can actually use like like some people will picture a bright white light and and they'll use that to cleanse and charge their own crystals some people do it that way um, yeah there's so many different ways that you can do that um, and programming. As far as programming, what you would do is um, for each crystal, like this one right here, like I told you, it's a carnelian. Carnelian is really good for courage. It's good for giving you courage and things like that. And um, when you're going to program your crystal, this is an important part because the crystal has the energies in it. Um, like it has the energies in it to do those certain things. Like, you know, it has the energy in it to, to give off the energy of courage. Um, and things like that but you want to let this crystal know that this is what you want the crystal to do for you um, you want to let it know that you want to speak out to it and let it know why it is that you decided to bring this crystal home why you felt so connected to this crystal um, what it is that you need from the crystal because if you if you tell it it will give it to you so um, how I like to do this and you always want to thank thank the crystal for giving you that energy so um, you would hold the crystal in your hands and you would just say, um, you would just say, Carnelian, I thank you for giving me courage today. I thank you for, um, for helping me to get through anything that it is that I'm not able to get through on my own. I thank you for, for giving me the energy to deal with things, um, things that might happen today. Um, you know, and I, I thank you for giving me that courage and, um, so be it. So motive be, you know, like motive be, things like that. Um, it, depending on what, you know, what it is that you practice, you could say amen. You could say things like that, you know, like whatever it is to close that. Um, and right there is you putting your intention into that, that crystal. You telling the crystal what it is that you want from it. So now the carnelian is going to know, okay, well, she needs me to give her courage. She needs me... You know, it might be, I might be going through difficult times or it might be, I might know that it's going to be a hard day today and I need that extra courage to make it through. And um, so uh, then I would just carry the, the carnelian with me, carry the carnelian with me and the carnelian is going to know that this is, this is my connection to this person. This is why this person got me. 
this is what it is that I need to do to that person or, or bring that energy for that person. And um, you always want to thank the crystal for that. You always want to thank it um, because it, it is, it's nature. It's part of nature and you always want to give something back. So even if you want to leave an offering for your crystal, you know, say, say I went through, uh, I knew that I was going to have a hard day and, and I had my carnelian, my carnelian with me and I felt like I just had this strength inside of me. It, it was because my energy was connected to this crystal. This crystal gives off that energy. So me, by carrying it, I am connecting myself with this crystal. I am attuning my energy with this crystal's energy. Therefore, the crystal is giving me that strength. It's giving me that power. So in order to thank it, you know, to thank the crystal for, you know, for everything that it's done for me, you want to treat the crystal with respect. You don't want to just, you know, get home and throw it somewhere and, you know, you don't want to do that because that crystal did, did something for you that day that you really needed it. So, um, yeah, you can always leave offerings for it. You can have a relationship with it, connect with it, talk to it, you know, hold it, thank it. There's so many different things that you could do, um, and um, just, like I said, just be grateful and respect it because it is part of nature, you know, it's, it's you, you carrying something that was created by nature. It's something very powerful. So, um, yeah, always have respect for your stones, no matter how tiny, like this little piece of pyrite, like no matter how tiny, it is extremely powerful. So... Yeah, with that, with all that, I hope that the information that I gave to you guys today was helpful. And um, I hope everybody is having a good night. It's nighttime over here, so I mean, depending on where you're at or when you're watching this. I hope you're having a good day and um, many blessings to you.